What's up guys? Today we are watching episode 5 of Wednesday. So, last episode was the iconic dance episode and probably like my favorite episode of the series so far. But the whole episode Wednesday basically had problems with both main boys of the show, Tyler and Xavier. But by the end of the episode, she was like okay with Tyler and still kind of offish with Xavier. But not only that, Enid and Ajax finally talked, so now they're basically together in a way, and I was waiting for that. They're so cute. <laughs> but by the end of the episode, our dude, Eugene, died. He got attacked by the monster bitch, and I'm mad. You killed a kid. Well, the other ones were kids too, but you killed a younger kid, and it pisses me off. But I need to see if maybe Wednesday's gonna, well, what can she really do about it? I don't know. I was about to just say that, but I guess I just answered myself. I don't know what really she could do about it, but I guess we'll see. So let's get into the episode. Leads me to wonder. What really happened that stormy night? Are we getting... Are we getting a flashback episode? Kind of, maybe? From the looks of it, he did kill him. Unless he accidentally stabbed him, I don't know. Possibly a fish. I don't know what to say, Gomez. Seeing you in handcuffs, accused of murder. I've never loved you more. <laughs> Maybe she believes he didn't do it. Maybe she believes he did, but she still, she still likes him. They do look really similar. So, I'm, so the casting was really good for the like flashback episode with him. I left a dozen messages on her crystal ball. Still in her reply. Fret not my plum neck cupid. I'm sure she's dying to see us. What kind of names does this man come up with? Like <laughs> I heard about the unfortunate incident involving one of our students. But I'm happy to report that Eugene is on the mend and is expected to make a full recovery. I thought, I thought he was dead. Or are they pulling like what happened with Rowan and saying that he's not dead? Talk about toxic pack mentality. I give my mom 30 seconds before her judgy claws come out. <sighs> Let's get this over with. I uncovered your feeble subterfuge almost immediately. So how's the little fella doing? Does he still have all his fingers? Relax. Things fine. Are you feeling well? You're looking a touch anemic. Have you been eating enough red meat? It's good to see you too, Mom. Her mom does seem pretty judgmental. Like, three seconds was all it took. Probably sunning herself somewhere in the seashells. My darling daughter. I made it. <laughs> and she thought her her mom wasn't coming. <laughs> Why does she look scared? Is she scared of her mom? Sounds positively suicidal. Oh. My picture's gone. Really? Well, that is odd. <laughs> she took it out. <laughs> Dr. Kimbert and I have spoken, and we both agree it would be most beneficial for you all to attend a family session this weekend. No. You knew. I don't know if family therapy would be good for them. That is disappointing. But anything for our little girl. Oh. 
So it's really gonna happen. They're going to family therapy. Let's see how that turns out. Kid in the ICU, a bunch of people in the morgue. I don't want any more. All right. Now he's gonna be on them for like the whole episode. I'm just, I'm not comfortable dredging up the family past with some complete stranger. You think it's easy for me to sit there and talk about my crap? You got a lot on my plate right now, bud. And that's child neglect. You don't even want to help with our problems. It's been hard not having Wednesday around. At least he's willing to start. Being a waterboarded so much. Didn't expect that. Okay. That need to be addressed. Who was Garrett Gates and why are you accused of murdering him? Whoa. Is he actually going to answer it or... And I refuse to debate a decades-old witch hunt with you right now. I, I... Darling, maybe we no. should... No. This session is over. Have it your way, Mother. She seems to kind of like turn into Tyler's dad, like... Well, did you really think I wouldn't find out your secret? You don't know the full story. Your father did nothing wrong. I'll be the judge of that. I mean, she just wanted answers. Why can't she get simple answers? If he really didn't do it, then why not just explain it to her? Tell her the story. Maybe it might be a hard story. So maybe that's why, but... Single mom and her daughter, if we weren't sirens? Mm -hmm. That is no way to talk about your stepfather. You actually married him. He wants you to come home. So she got married without even telling her daughter to a dude that she doesn't even like. And if I refuse, then everybody here is going to know how you sirened your way into Nevermore. Huh? So she, she convinced him with her siren ways to let her into the school? I harvested hive number three. The bees miss you, Eugene. We all do. See, now she's seeming to have some feelings, and this is a good moment. You must be Wednesday. Eugene's moms, Sue and Janet. You were all he could talk about lately. He was so happy you joined the Hummer. That's so sweet. We just saw Doc last week. He was planning a cruise with his wife. He seemed all excited about retirement. I guess you never really know what's going on through someone's mind. Someone else probably did it and just put it as a suicide. I was about to say, what if it was maybe Wednesday's dad, but I don't know. Horton has been living with that guilt for all these years. What case? Uh, Garrett Gates? Garrett Gates, you gotta be kidding me. Is that the case with, with, a? Uh, Wednesday's dead. Why is she randomly visiting that dude's grave and now destroying the flower? Okay. We need to tell her. She'll never believe us. Why wouldn't she believe you? I mean, there doesn't seem to be much of like, I don't know, like nothing big happened. It seemed like just a simple st stab wound. Defined our relationship yet? I'm not talking about boys. Have you wolfed out yet? Keep pushing her on it. What if someone's framing them? 
like Wednesday's dad. Who would it be though? It will be used against you in a court of law. Dad? To the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed for you. Now you need to give us a story, like, come on. <laughs> I love thing. Garrett was infatuated with your mother. He mistook her kindness for interest. His infatuation. So now... So now we're actually getting a story. And that's when I saw him. He had broken into the school. His twisted love for your mother had made him insane. His eyes. Wait, so he didn't go to he didn't go to Nevermore, so he broke in there, or maybe he got kicked out or something. I think he just didn't go there. When I saw the sword, my survival instinct kicked in. So it was, it was self-defense. Yeah, it was an accident, self-defense, kind of. Fashion sounds entirely plausible, delivered with the perfect degree of sincerity. Perhaps my father is exactly what he says. Thank you for being so honest with me. I think it's a true story. I mean, why would he lie about it, you know? I don't know. I'm sorry. I wasn't a better father. Could we please do without the overt display of emotion? I know they make you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> How to navigate myself in a world full of treachery and prejudice. You are the reason I understand how imperative it is that I never lose sight of myself. That's like one of the nicest things she said to him. Don't you find the timing a tad bit convenient? The coroner kills himself out of remorse for a decades-old murder case the very weekend my father, your prime suspect, deigns to return to town. Who would who would do that though? Would it be the principal? Because she seems to like be iffy with them. But like that's the only person I could think of that has a problem with them. So you truly believe this is all some coincidence? Whoever hurt Eugene also murdered the coroner. Unfortunately, someone sabotaged the security camera in the morgue, so we don't know what. They think it would be the monster. Why would the monster do it, though? He, uh, the monster has nothing to, like, against the dad, unless he knows him. Ended up drowning. Every last one of them's gone. So your father doesn't just have Garrett's blood on his hands, he's got the whole damn family's. Well, shit. Didn't know about that part. They want to send her away to a summer camp and take her out of Nevermore. Oh, no need to be dramatic, Enid. You want to send me to conversion therapy for werewolves? It worked wonders for your cousin Lucille, didn't it? Her mom, I swear, is so much, like, it's, it's different timing for other people, like, she doesn't have to shift right away. Stop trying to be nice. Doesn't suit you. At least she's trying. A grenade as bait. Okay, then that's one way to catch fish. I mean, by we, I mean you. Now, give me one of those. 
Can Eugene just wake up so Wednesday can introduce her brother to him? That'd be sweet. I think they should meet. Actually, I rejected them. Why? Because I was a member? I'll never live up to your legacy here. Hmm. So why try? Her mom just seems so weird about it, I swear. So did, like, the story that her father said not really happen? How ironic, since she was the one who killed Joseph Craigstone. The nightshades were her secret but deadly answer to his oppression. Okay, um... By the time I made it up the stairs, I found your father fighting for his life. It was terrifying. Oh, so wait, it's gonna be her mom that killed him on accident or something? Daring into the eyes of a rabid beast. Wait. Okay, yeah, so she did kill him or whatever, but it's like... Why was he foaming at the mouth? Did he take something? The scream that I realized what I'd done. Your father was so... calm. He took the blame for her. But who knew the truth? Because whoever knew the truth is the one that killed the coroner and wrote that he lied or something. But then no, they said that the dad did it still, so I don't know. What? How can that be? There's only one way to find out. What does it mean, though? You didn't say. Because I don't know. Hello, Garrett. That's a lady. So he's not dead? So then who is it? Because apparently he's still alive. It's a souvenir from our outing. I borrowed it from Garrett. He died from nightshade poisoning. Oh wait, so that was him. I just thought because the hair. Before you stabbed him. Okay, so yeah, he was dying before. It broke against him and killed him. It wasn't meant for him to be like dying like that. It was only because it broke on him. He wasn't just trying to kill father. He was going to use the nightshade poison to murder the entire school. That's dark. I mean... Poisoning. But you already knew that, didn't you? Because back when you were sheriff, you were in charge of the case and covered it up. Is he the one that killed the coroner? I don't know. I don't think so, maybe. I don't know. Ansel confessed the whole thing to me in a drunken stupor. It was his idea. Why did you instruct Dr. Anwar to falsify the autopsy report? You knew the truth. Yeah, why didn't he really... Why didn't he say anything? Did he have that much of a... Like, something against her dad? Do we have a deal? But it's like now they're not even going to tell anyone and he's going to stay mayor of that place. Sometimes when I touch someone or something, I get these very violent glimpses from the past or future. I don't know how to control it. So she confirmed it. Whenever she touches someone, it's the past, future, or whatever, of, like, that person, it seems. Like, maybe not the girl she saw in her other vision, like, the other version of her, but, like, who did she touch at the dance to see, what's his name, Eugene? Because that means that person is the beast thing. So... Your daughter and my son have become 
folks. I pity any boy who gets caught in her viper's cave. <laughs> He had a sister. Wait, did they say if his family died or not? Because it's like, what if his family is still alive? Wait, they said that he's the dad was responsible for all of the family's deaths, basically, for what they did, so never mind. I'm proud of you, kiddo. You do you. In that show, it's like the dads are the soft ones. Like Wednesday's dad's the soft one, and then her dad is good. In the nail biter. I knew you didn't have what it takes to be a murderer. As much as that stings, <laughs> good eyes here. That's my little death trap. <laughs> oh God. Thank you, mother. Oh, I thought they were gonna hug. You see, when you participated in the talent show with my mother, not only did you impersonate Judy Garland, Wait. you became her. You're a shapeshifter. Huh? How, wait, how did she figure that out? You won't tell a soul, Miss Adams. And it wouldn't matter much if you did. Rowan's father already knows what happened, and he... You're already... You're just proving that she's right about you being a shapeshifter, even though we know, but she just figured it out. Or Rowan in an unflattering light. You and Mayor Walker are the same, aren't you? Burying bodies to cover your dirty secrets. That makes sense. They kind of seem like the same. Fire will rain. What does that mean? Okay, then. I'm just like... There's so many things that seem, like, confusing, but then also not confusing. Because it's like... How did Wednesday figure out that Principal Lady is a shapeshifter? By a picture. How could she tell? Literally... She shapeshifts into a different person. How would you be able to tell that that's not that person? I don't know. It was just... That confused me. But then who... Who would even put the freaking fire will rain or whatever in the grass? Who has something like that... Something that much like against the school that they just want to kill everyone? That just made me think even more. Why would the dad of like the other dude want to kill everyone? Is it just because they're different and like werewolves, whatever the hell else there is, vampires? What even is Wednesday? They never even like put her in a category. It's weird to even think about. But yeah, like, did he, I don't think he had to like. Maybe he had a specific reason he wanted everyone in that school dead, but then it's like he literally sent his son to do that for him and then let him die. Like he basically sent him to his death. And that's just, it's crazy. I thought someone like, well, they did frame, what's his name? Wednesday's dad in a way, but... At least he's out of jail now, but we did figure out that the mayor is a douche, you know? And then so is the principal. She is kind of somewhat like him. I feel bad that we didn't really see much of Xavier this episode. Hopefully he'll be, like, have more screen time in the next one. But I was kind of hoping maybe Eugene might wake up and he might get to meet Wednesday's brother. And, you know, they can bond. I think they would have a good friendship. 
but they only stayed for the weekend and he didn't wake up still, so... I was still surprised when I found out that he was still alive because I thought that he would be dead. Like, literally everyone else that the creature attacked died, so, like, Eugene is still alive because even Principal Lady just admitted that Rowan was dead even though we knew, but she was, like, still trying to keep it a secret because she's sketchy. There's just so much going on there. And I think it was so funny that they tried to go to freaking family therapy and it didn't seem to work out. But I mean, by the end of the episode, they've all seemed to like get closer in a way. So that's a good sign. But I need more explained in these next coming episodes because I mean, I'm still confused about some things. Still not. It's like a mixture, you know, but we'll see. So I guess come back for episode six.